Welcome to today's video on healthcare provider BLS for the infant. Let's take a look at what those steps look like, shall we? Hey, Doc. Yes. Who throws a baby? Step one, establish unresponsiveness. Two, assess for breathing. If this infant is not breathing, call a code immediately, get some help coming. Hello, cutie. And you're unresponsive. And you're not breathing. Nurse, call a code, I need some help in here. Next, check for a pulse. You know, check for no more than 10 seconds. If this infant does not have a pulse, immediately begin chest compressions. Check for a pulse. I got no pulse. Great. That's fantastic. My kingdom for two nurses right now. There goes my kingdom. I need you guys to take over CPR on this little one. You ready? Yes. Now in two rescuer CPR for the infant, the way we perform compressions is with a circumferential grip our thumbs on the sternum between the nipple line, and we're gonna compress about one third the distance anterior posterior of this kid's chest. So almost halfway through this kid's chest, you're pushing. Again, at a rate over 100, and a compression to ventilation ratio of 15 to two. Okay, remember, we're gonna do our compressions 15 to two, 15 compressions, two breaths of air. Watch for that chest rise. Good. Circumferential grip. Remember, you're gonna compress about one third the distance through that kid's chest, okay? This is an infant, not a child. Now, if all you have is an adult BVM, you can still ventilate an infant. Take the mask and invert the mask. Turn it upside down. So on the adult, where the nose would normally be, we're gonna spin that over and we're gonna put the nose section down by the infant's chin. The face mask will then come up and cover the rest of the face. You're gonna have to cut down on the amount of volume you give this infant, and we're just looking for a little chest rise. That's all. But again, if all you have is an adult mask, you can still ventilate an infant by inverting the mask. 